Welcome to Yippie Kaye Namaste Yoga for Teens with Cheryl Crawford and high school students from around Metro Atlanta, some of them first time yoga practitioners. Yippie Kaye means joy, and we invite you to connect to that joy and to each other. Namaste means the goodness in me sees the goodness in you. So prepare for Yippie Kaye Namaste Yoga for Teens, where we connect our mind, body, and spirit as we laugh and move together. Hi, and welcome to Yippie Kaye Namaste. Today, we're going from the state of anger all the way up to action, taking that into action and our passion, considering what our passion is. Anger has a really rough reputation, and actually, we need to be anger, angry. Anger can serve us well. Today, practicing with us, we have Mia and Kaylin, Colette, Mateo, Melanie, and Kira. Welcome everybody. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Close your eyes if you can. Tune into your breath. Tune into your quality of your energy, your pattern. I invite you to tune into yourself with the sound of the bowl. When you don't hear it anymore, please open your eyes. Inhale to prepare to listen. Exhale to get more settled. And place your hands together right at your heart and help us tune into our inner teacher and our inner knowing, the commanding mantra. Ong Namo Guru Dave Namo, three times. Inhale to prepare. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Take a full breath in Hold And as you exhale, bow your head to your heart. May our practice help us turn anger into action. Please come to table. Root your hands, your knees, and your feet. As you breathe in, bring your sitting bones back, stretch your belly forward like an active, passionate cow. Lift your chin. The opposite of anger. When we're angry, our shoulders are kind of hunched. Our face is mm. So make your face soft. Lift your chin like a sweet, <laughs> passionate cow. As you exhale, opposite direction, pull your belly toward your back, completely empty. Like a, a cat that's about to take action, let your head go. And move with your breath. Close your eyes. Breathe in. Stretch your sitting bones back. Stretch your belly forward. Lift your chin. Breathe out. Pull your belly toward your back. And one more time, full breath in, stretch forward, and exhale, pull your belly toward your back. As you breathe in, come to table, and exhale to dark seed light. Root your hips back to your heels, open your knees as much as you need to, hands together, forehead down, set an intention. Perhaps to move through anger, to go through um, the, the states of devotion and courage and confidence and reverence and appreciation to release any excess irritation and disappointment. So anger is an integrity producing response to invasion of our personal boundaries. That's one of the definitions of anger. And when we're, um, we ground anger down into our feet, so let's do that. Lift your knees toward downward facing dog. Ground your hands and ground anger down from your sitting bones to your feet. And we ground it down and we lift our low bellies up so we get the anger, the fire from our belly. Lift it up toward your heart, illuminating your heart so we can use the anger, that fire to help us with passion, with what our heart's desires are. Walk your hands toward your feet. 
Bring your feet mat distance and squat down, please. And come to sitting. Let's do fist of anger. This is something you can do at any time. It's a good, nice thing to do every morning because we, all of us have residual anger that we need to clear out. Cross your thumbs all the way over towards your pinkies and bring your fingers over your thumb. Pull tight. The breath is in and out of the, of the mouth. And move your arms like this and breathe through your mouth. <sighs> Eyes are closed. <sighs> and get angry. So remember, it could be a story or that last time, that sensation of being angry, and bring it in here to release it. <sighs> really powerful breath. Try to get your belly to move in and out with your breath. You're doing really well. Keep going. <sighs> and symbolically place whatever you're ang angry at or disappointed or irritated, bring it right to your belly so it can transmute. A transmutation, bringing it toward the state of action that fires. You can use it. Yeah, keep going. A few more moments. Ten more seconds. Go. Really go fast. Full breath. How powerful can you get your breath? And when you can, try to do this for three minutes a day, especially when you wake up. Good. Full breath in. Stretch your arms. Keep your arms up, exhale, inhale, hold, stretch, exhale, inhale, and imagine it's white light all around you, and shake your hands, and exhale, bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Bring your arms up 60 degrees, fingers all the way to, to your palms, thumbs up, stretch your arms up, close your eyes, roll your eyes up and begin breath of fire. So it's an equal inhale and exhale, really stretch your arms, charge from your heart up. So to get the energy, that fire, from, to go from anger to action, to transmute it, you have to do the work. So make your arms super straight and be on purpose with your arms. See how straight you can make them and as much 60 degrees as you possibly can. The only thing moving is your belly. Stay with it. You can do it. 30 more seconds. Observe the layers of resistance. See if you can pass through them. Just like when you're going to another state, you have to pass through. Like we're going to Mississippi, we pass through another state, a state to get there, right? Stretch all the way up. There you go. Ten more seconds. Stretch your arms more. Lift your chin. Full breath in. Hold. Squeeze below your pelvic floor and lift. Belly in and up. Chin back. Hold. Bring your thumbs to touch overhead without looking. Stretch your fingers and clear the space around you. Anchor your fingers down. Bring the back of your palms down, thumb and index fingers together, close your eyes, tune into the state, your state. Bring to mind what you're devoted to, what you're dedicated to. Could be a principle, an action, attention to a cause. Find your resource, what it is you're dedicated to. Bring one thumb right at your belly button. See if you have a pulse right in your belly button. You want to. You want to feel the pulse of your navel. You want to be able to use your mind as an ally, keeping your breath consistent. And use these answers. What are you devoted to to help you? Take hold of the back of your legs and rock and roll on your back and come up to a standing forward fold. You might be able to do it without using your hands. Ground into your legs. Stretch your arms up. Really stretch up. Lift your heart. And as you exhale, stick out your tongue and from the back of your throat, ah, and fold. Inhale. Get energy from deep within your belly. Exhale. Ah, release resentment. Inhale, 
Exhale. Good. From your belly to your throat, exhale. Ah, stick out your tongue. Ah, breathe in. Lift your heart. Ah, keep going. Because ah, <coughs> sometimes anger ah, can motivate us in not such great ways. We want to move it towards full breath in and expression. Ah, Really powerful expression of devotion, of love. Three more times. We can take action with what we love. Ah. Last one. Ah. Good. Take hold of the back. Take hold of your ankles and stomp to the back of your mat. Go. Like when you're angry and you get sent to your room, stomp to the front of your mat. And you want to stomp, releasing it. Go to the back of your mat. Stomp it out. Come to the front of your mat. Imagine you're sitting in a chair. Sit back and down so your thighs are the opposite of when you're angry and they're pulled forward. Bring your hands here. So when you get to your room, you know how you want to slam the door. You're going to slam an imaginary door and from your belly go HUD. Ready? One, two, three, HUD. And fold forward. Inhale, look up into a half lift. As you exhale, squat down and come lying on your back, please. Bring your thumb right into your belly button. You can have your legs out straight or your knees together, feet apart. See if you can try to breathe into your belly, close your eyes. When we're in a situation where we feel really triggered, it's like a punch in this area. So breathe here, offering into the cauldron of your belly. The yogis, we call that Agni, offering into this fire center, anything you're ready to burn. Sensing the presence of power here. Sometimes that's all that is required to breathe here and offer what needs to be burned, what needs to go. Recognizing the feeling that there is no need to react, we breathe and we wait to get that higher intuitive impulse from our gut to move or to act. All right, so what we're doing to, to, to go to the state of action is going to require using our belly. So bring your legs up straight and begin to crisscross your legs. So open them wide and cross one direction, open them wide and cross the other direction. Breath of fire, so it's like this. Just like you just did an ego eradicator out, in and out of your nose. And this is designed, we're crossing, we're at certain angles, we're clearing out stuff from our subconscious that we don't even know is there. It clears it out, we just know that we feel better when we do it. We have to go at it at angles, like a shovel, and when we're digging stuff, we don't go straight down, we go to at it at an angle. This is science, this is physics, this is math. Crisscross your legs, lifting stuff up from your subconscious, you're doing really well. And it's not so pleasant. But if you can hold that and witness the unpleasant feeling while you're doing it, while you're being challenged, then you strengthen yourself. So next time someone presses your button, you're ready to meet it. Fifteen seconds. You can do it. Good, straight, bring your legs straight up, hold, then lower your right leg till it almost touches the floor. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can. Inhale back up. If you need to, bring your hands underneath your hips. Lower your left leg as straight as you can and bring it back up and keep going. Move with your breath, lowering your legs, keeping them as straight as they can. Try to keep them really straight. Straight means not bent. Why? Because we hold a lot of tension sometimes behind our knees. We want to release that. So find the balance between action and assertion and taking a stand. Do you guys feel this? 
<laughs> so bring back your resource, what you are devoted to. Good, and lower down, bring one thumb into your belly button, close your eyes, see how you're doing. When we're passionate, our eyes are clear, our hands and free, feet are intentional, our breath is free to enter our belly and our chest. See if you can make your belly and your chest receptive to your breath. And ground any excess anger, ground it into your feet. Make your feet on purpose. Because the energy of anger is fire and that energy goes up. So if it's too strong, we want to ground some of it down toward our feet. We want to be really present at our navel point. Anger is normal, very useful. And when we experience anger, we're receiving information. This situation doesn't work for me. We don't waste our energy. Something needs to be done, and I better do something about it. Okay, so we're going to do that again, the crossing. So lift your legs up and begin crossing. It might get easier this time, maybe not. Crisscross, move with your breath. See how much breath you can bring into it. And this is what we have to do to release our anger. Mm -hmm. We want to poke and provoke the old part of ourselves show up so we can meet it and let it go. So let it come up. Poke and provoke. Legs as wide as you can. Crisscross your legs. You can do it. Breath of fire. There's a lot to take action to do. Bring up what you're passionate about. Good, full breath in, lift your legs. And this time, exhale, lower your legs. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, lower, keep going. You can bring your hands underneath your hips. Try to keep your legs straight if you can. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. So most of you are bending your knees. See if you can make them straight. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Move with your breath. There you go. That's it. Try to keep your legs straight if you can. This is the last time you'll be lifting and lower your legs, so do it with a sense of purpose. <laughs> Anger is, is produces response. You can feel it. So you're bringing it out so you can work with it. Good, and one last time, begin to crisscross your legs, go. Poke and provoke. And that when we have all these negative emotions, so-called negative, anger's not necessarily negative, but when we have too much of it, it can get kind of strong. We, and it doesn't <clears throat> evoke a response that we want. We want to turn this into action. Keep going. A lot of the time, like what our responses or actually our reactions are from something in the past that has triggered us. We want to clear that. Like un unprocessed emotions, unprocessed circumstances, final moments. See how straight you can make your legs, final moments. Good. And release them down. Bring your thumb into your belly button. Just feel the pulse there. And this is the way to begin, the most powerful way to move out of the state of disempowerment. We're so angry we don't know what to do, is to activate this part of us, our navel, cultivating our internal power. We cannot control what anyone else does, but we can control ourselves. We can control what happens right here at our navel. See if you can bring the breath in there and feel the pulse there. All right, interlace your fingers behind your head. Bring your nose as, bend your knees, bring your, your knees and your nose as close together as you can. Stay there and breathe.
And when we're aware of other people, their needs, and realize we're not the good ones doing everything right while they're the bad ones doing everything wrong, the truth is somewhere in between. And the work is navigating from our head, which is, can be judgmental and discerning. Close your eyes if you can. Our head can be judgmental, discerning, discriminating to the heart, which is, our heart is all encompassing and soft love and a fierce pulse. So we want to bring both those oppositions together that works together. So we find really dramatic shifts when we do that. When our navel, our energy here is strong, we can take action. Okay, rock and roll on your back. And come up into cobra. So have your head facing forward, your hands down. We're going to do three sets of cobra. <clears throat> so if you need to, if it's tricky for you to bring your hands there, bring your forearms in front. <clears throat> to bring, you can bring your hands farther forward if it's harder for you. Okay, lift your chest as much as you can. And this time, breath and fire out of, out of your mouth. So stick your tongue out, close your eyes. <sighs> And keep breathing like that. It's very detoxifying. Detoxifying any of those ashes left over from the anger. Eyes close and roll. Stick your tongue out. Don't be shy. <laughs> Stick your tongue out as much as you can. Feel the pulse in your navel as you breathe. I'm looking to see if I can see your navel moving up and down. In and out. 20 seconds. Full breath in, lift your heart, and exhale, lower down, stack your hands underneath your forehead. So we don't contemplate our navels, we pump them until they're activated. And our internal energy moves spontaneously and dynamically. When it's strong, we have the energy to take action and accomplish things. When it's weak, we have difficulty taking action for ourselves. And when we can't act, we feel like victims of what other people are doing. Outside authorities. So we want to have our inner authority. Okay, now we're going to do it again. So place your hands, lift your chest, this time through your nose. Eyes closed and rolled. And it's just your mind kind of bothered that we're still in Cobra. So burn that into the fire. If you're upset that you're in this pose, burn it into the fire. Dedicate to someone who you are challenged with. When you come to a challenge, challenge dedicate it to someone that you are challenged with. Commit to the pose to resolve your challenge and use the practice to come into the place of truth so we can build bridges and not burn them. Full breath in and exhale lower. Good. Inhale, stretch back up. Exhale lower. Keep going. <laughs> Inhale up. Exhale lower. A few more rounds. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Keep going. Good, lower down, stack your hands, just feel that. Go for your mind, surrendering to your heart. All right, press yourself up into a sitting pose and make fist. And again, it's breath of fire and punching forward, like really punch, go. Close your eyes and punch. This is changing. We're building energy. And if there's someone in your life you're challenged by, dedicate this transmutation. Not like you're punching them, of course, but dedicate that. See if there's one person that you're challenged by that you can work on. You really, sometimes when someone really makes us angry, it's something that we need to work on. Ooh. 
This builds energy in our heart and our lungs. It releases the poison of resentment. Resentment is like poison, it's toxic. We don't need to fix anything. We need to move energy out to experience our own greatness. So keep going, put all your energy into this. It's gonna be worth it. Good, and from there, interlace your fingers behind your back, close your eyes. Notice that we don't need to fix anything. Move energy out to experience our own greatness. So go for your mind, like bring the back of your eyes, like you're wiring, back of your eyes to the back of your heart. And your mind and your breath to your heart, put all your energy into this. Let your hands rest and be present with the, your internal screen in your mind, like watching a movie or a video or YouTube in your mind. Witness what plays itself out on the screen of your mind and be okay with it. When your, our bodies get still after all the movement we did, it's a release. And we can hold space for those around us no matter how much it charges us up. Not that we get walked over, but that we can still communicate lovingly. Bring your hands over your eyes. And slowly open your eyes and bring your arms up like goalposts with your fingers up. And like you're twisting off a light bulb, go. Or like you're turning a, gold, a doorknob. Arms up like goalposts so your elbows are in line with your shoulders and twist and twist. And feel the energy in your hands. You're so powerful. This is the energy we were working with. Keep your chin up. Stand up really tall. It's like a thick liquid around your hands. That's what we're working with. Good, full breath in and breathe out. Bring your thumbs and index finger together. Feel the energy back of your palms down. And let's do this just chant of HUD. From your belly, close your eyes. Bring your belly in and it's a HUD where the tongue goes through the roof of your mouth. Let's do a few of those, go. HUD, 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 hud. Full breath in. And breathe out. Bring your hands together at your heart. May the long time sun shine upon you. May all love surround you. And the pure light within you guide your way on. Yippee-ki-yay. Namaste. Namaste.